What's going on you guys, Vlogmas day 18. Today we're gonna do a putting upshot challenge and basically we're gonna have 18 shots and each shot you make, you can pretend like you got a birdie on the course. So every time you miss, it's a par or a bogey, but we're just gonna pretend like if I miss it, it's a par. So each putt I make is another stroke under par. So the format for today's challenge is going to be comparative to if we were playing on a par 54, par 57 type course, where it's a lot of par threes, and usually off the tee, if you have a good shot, you're gonna be within the circle. There are gonna be some times where you mess up, you're gonna have to throw an up shot, and there are definitely gonna be just a few outside the circle putts. So what I'm gonna do is 12 inside the circle putts. I'm gonna stand at different positions and you know, they're gonna be around seven to 11 steps away, 11 being 33 feet, 10, 30, 9, 27, and so on. And you don't wanna to be too close, obviously. And it's kind of weird because, you know, on a par 54 course, you can expect to park some holes, but just for the sake of this challenge, we're gonna pretend like we don't park anything. And then after those 12 inside the circle putts, we're gonna to go to four decently long, you know, up shots, shots that are possible to make, but basically we just wanna get it to the basket and we pretty much have to concede the birdie. Like we could make some of these or we might have a chance to make one of these four, but there's gonna be four long up shots. And then there's gonna be two outside the circle putts, which you know, they might come up on a par 54 course. You never know, there might be a long hole out there or it might be hard to reach. So you get like 50 feet away. So I feel like this is gonna be a good representation of like a round if you were to play a par 54 course, that's kind of the point. And you know, I feel like you're gonna be able to take the putting more seriously if you pretend like every time you make it and you only have 18 shots, that each time it's a stroke. So the best score possible is minus 18, but there's gonna be some shots that are gonna be like nearly impossible to make. So. I, I think it's gonna be awesome to see how good I can shoot and how hard this challenge will be. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, we're gonna start the challenge starting with the 12 inside the circle putts. By the way, if you guys wanna try this challenge, just use one or two putters because you wanna be moving around pretending like, you know, it's a different hole, right? You're not gonna be at the same exact position with the same exact putt on a different hole, right? So make sure you only have a few putters and you're moving around, take it seriously. Let's get into it. All right guys, inside the circle, we managed to score 11 down out of 12. So we're on pretty good pace. Now it's time for the tricky up shots. Hopefully we can make one of these four. If not, we still have a chance to shoot minus 13 with the two outside the circle putts. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna walk back to the spot, but I just wanna show you where the basket is. So this is a makeable shot, but you know, we're kind of pinched off here. All right, here's the second up shot. Uh, actually. That was actually close to making it. All right, we gotta make both of those to save our pars. I forgot to mention that. So if we miss, that's gonna be a bogey. We don't wanna take a bogey, so let's make them. So this is the turbo upshot I had. It was only like 70 feet or something, but still a little upshot. Now this is tapping, thankfully. And this one was the side arm that was, you know, a little bit obstructed, a little bit blind. 
And this should be a tapping as well. All right, we got two more upshots though. Guys, the basket is right there, but unfortunately our first lie is way back here. So we have to manage to get a par from here or somehow make it. Way stretched out. You'll be able to see me throw it at the basket though. Or completely miss. All right, that upshot kind of fell out of my hand. Still puts us in a decently easy spot to pick up a par. But like I said, this is a one take challenge. So you only get one chance at each type of shot. And I still got to save these pars. So we'll see what happens. I was a little worried about that one. Now we have a much closer, but still not a free putt. It's, it's, it should be a tapping, but we'll see. Oh, barely. Okay. We're still sitting at 11 under. We didn't make any of those up shots, unfortunately, but we can still shoot 13 under. We got two outside the circle putts. And uh, it's gonna be tough, but let's try. All right, guys, we got one last putt, last chance. Best score we can get is minus 12 if we miss, minus 11, but let's try and get that minus 12. Obviously, I missed that first long putt. It must have been pretty scary to watch, but uh, something I noticed about the snow is like, if you're gonna do this challenge, I would actually recommend putting your shoes in the freezer. And the reason is I'm getting like a lot of snow clumped up on the bottom of my feet and it's making the footing hard sometimes, especially when I was doing inside the circle putts, I noticed it, but that one putt, I, I could feel like a big clump on my left foot, but I was already like, you know, in motion to throw it, but we got one more chance to see if we can make it. All right, guys, we did it. We shot a minus 12, which isn't perfect, but it's not that bad. We got 11 putts inside the circle. We got zero of the layup shots, which would pretty much be like a throw in. And then we got one out of two out of the outside the circle putts. And this is for like a par 54, par 57 course. So you're going to get a lot of putts within the circle. And honestly, it felt kind of accurate. It's like, yeah, you're not really going to make those layup shots, but there's always room for improvement, right? Like you could get a 14 down if you really buckled down. 12 down like on a deuce or die course might be cash and like doubles or something like that. It would definitely be good for a singles round, but I guess it depends on the course. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you tomorrow for day 19 of Vlogmas.